Hey, this is Isara with UX in Motion, and I'm going to show you how to use Google's Sketch to AE plugin to save your work into After Effects. Now, if you watched my previous video on how to install this plugin, I already previously mentioned that I believe this is a game changer for UX designers wanting to jump into motion. I believe this pl plugin has removed all of the barriers of uh, entry for you at this point, which I think is just great. So I've created a bunch of tutorials just for UX designers on my website, UX in Motion. Go ahead and check those out. Um, they're a great way for you to get into the game, learn motion. I created them for beginners who are just looking to take their designs and create motion studies for their projects. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the save feature in Sketch to AE. So we've already downloaded it from the website. We've installed it. If you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch that um, and then come back and watch this video. So now here I am in Sketch. I have a uh, material design asset here. This is how it works. So you select your files here. And if you want to ungroup them first, a couple layers, you can. Um, that could help you. You don't have to. You can play with that. But I'm just going to show you how to save your work now. So I'm going to call this um, test here. And I'm, I'm going to just going to call this my test folder. I'm going to save it on the desktop. So I save that. I've already made an artboard, so it's contained inside that artboard. That's important. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Plugins, Sketch to AE, Save Selected Layers. Now what that does is it prompts a, uh, a little location here. I'm going to select that. Okay, and now that's complete, and I can go over to After Effects, and I can just open this up. So in my Sketch to AE window here, I'm going to select the option on the right, which is to open layer data from the sketch AE file, which is great. I'm going to click that and I'm going to make a new comp from that. Now here it, it is. I've noticed that the plugin, so if you do this multiple times, it doesn't give you the file name from your project. It just gives you a generic sketch import dot sketches file. So you just have to be mindful of that. So I'm going to hit open. Now it's going to churn for a few seconds. And when it's done, it's going to give me my project file. Now I'm going to call something out um, as I was playing around with this, something that may happen for you that you may want to look into. And you can see like the icon here wasn't perfectly preserved. Um, so that's just something that um, to be aware of that you may experience a couple little glitches here and there. The main thing I noticed is that my text disappeared. I quick, quickly solved that by hitting Command A. And where it says FX here, I disabled the effects. And what it's, it's adding this little After Effects thing may or may not help you. If you're experiencing some asset, uh, you can't see them, but you know they're there because you, you can see the layers here. Uh, click that and that will help you out. And now what this has done, it's created, it's absolutely stunning. You can see here in the parent column, uh, and if you're not viewing the parent column, you can hit the uh, switches modes down here to, uh, to view that. If you, um, if you look at the parent column, you'll see that a lot of these layers are now parented this is really, really smart how uh, Google did this because now you can have control to just animate um, some of these independently. So for instance, this tabs layer here, if I hit P to bring up the position, I kind of slide this around, you can see that all of these other layers are now parented to this for very, very quick, easy motion studies in After Effects. It's exactly what you want. I'm really happy that these guys made this um, and I think you, sh you should be too. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun with this plugin. So anyway, that's sort of the quick workflow on how to save your work. And in another video, I'll show you how to copy your files and paste them into After Effects, which is also another great workflow. So again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next uh, tutorial.